First Peter chapter 4 Therefore, since Christ has Christ has suffered or suffered death in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same purpose. Yourselves, I mean, because he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin so as to live the rest of the time in the flesh no longer for the lusts of men, but for the will of God. Huh. For the time already past is sufficient for you to have carried out the desire of the Gentiles, having pursued a course of sensuality, lusts, drunkenness, yeah, carousing, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In all this, they are surprised that you do not run with them into the same excess of dissipation, and they malign you. They malign you, but they will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For the gospel has for this purpose been preached even to those who are dead, that though they are judged in the flesh as men, they may live in the spirit according to the will of God. Hmm. Verse 7, the end of all things is near, therefore be of sound judgment and sober spirit for the purpose of prayer. Amen. Above all, keep fervent in your love for one another, because love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaint, as each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Amen. Whoever speaks is to do so as one who is speaking the utterances of God. Whoever serves is to do so as one who is serving by the strength which God supplies, so that in all things, God may be glorified through Christ Jesus, to whom belongs the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 12. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal among you, which comes upon you for your testing, as though some strange thing were happening to you. But to the decree that you share the sufferings of Christ, Keep on rejoicing, so that also at the revelation of his glory you may receive with exaltation, you may rejoice with exaltation. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory and of God rests on you. Make sure that none of you suffers as a murderer, or thief, or evildoer, or a troublesome meddler. But if anyone suffers as a Christian, he is not to be ashamed, but is to glorify God in this name. Hmm. It reminds me of the verse to... Not so where someone else has already laid a foundation. For, this is verse 17, For it is time for judgment to begin with the household of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the outcome? Yep, I remembered. For those who do not obey the gospel of God, and if it is with difficulty that the righteous is saved, 
what will become of the godless man and the sinner? Therefore those also who suffer according to the will of God shall entrust their souls to a faithful creator in doing what is right. 